Hi, I'm Sherry Methvin, and I'm a realtor with Century 21 Goodyear Green in Edmond, Oklahoma, in the Oklahoma City area. And today we're going to be talking about repairs. You now will receive an inspection report. Um, and that inspection report will have pictures, it should be a list of items that either need to be repaired or maybe just need to be monitored in the future. And you're going to make, you're going to narrow down that list to the things that you think are most important um, to ask the seller to repair before you close. Um, and the report that in Oklahoma, anyway, that you write that on is called a Treatments, Repairs, and Replacements Report. And you may hear me call it a TRR in the next few minutes as we talk more about it. There are a couple things to remember. One is that more than likely, the seller is not going to fix everything on that inspection report. It needs to be narrowed down to the things that are most important to you. And secondly, if unless you're purchasing a new construction home, there's always going to be things that aren't 100% because this just happens. Anything that you purchase that's not brand new are always going to have some issues with them. And so you need to expect that. And um, thirdly, I always like to tell a story to my buyers, and that is when we purchased our home uh, 20 years ago, we just never have moved because we like it here, but um, uh, then we had a list of repairs. And honestly, I don't think, I think we bought the house as is, so we didn't ask the seller to fix anything. And, um, but as I've looked through that list lately, there's tons of items on there that never were fixed. I mean, eventually we have probably fixed them all because we remodeled the house, but um, there were lots of things on there that had no bearing whatsoever on the stability of the house. And just keep that in mind as you're going forward and you're asking the seller to do repairs. So some suggested ways to, um, to determine which repairs you want on the report are um, to determine what you really want the seller to do. Um, things maybe that you can't do or that you just don't want to do, those are good items for the report. Also, if there's anything major in the home, if there's a heat and air problem or a roof problem or a water heater problem that you weren't expecting, those things should be on the TRR and need to be addressed. You don't want to go buy the house and then have to replace a roof for no good reason when the seller might be able to uh, replace that with insurance because of hail damage or something. Um, also, just focus again, like I think I said earlier, is on the most important things. What is most important to you? And another suggestion is to group items by trade. So if there's a bunch of electrical items, do ask for the electrical items. And if there's like one plumbing item, just plan to have maybe hire a handyman or a plumber to come in after close and do a few things on the house that you didn't ask the seller to do. And that way you get the things most important to you done and then just have a few things that you really want to do afterwards if that's the case. Sometimes uh, it is difficult to come to a conclusion on what the seller is willing to fix and what the buyer really wants to have done. And sometimes it just works out better if the buyer asks for a sell the seller for a credit in lieu of repairs. Now this is only in certain circumstances that maybe you would want to do that, but that is also an option credit in lieu of repairs. Just know that they're not doing the repairs, but you get a credit maybe toward your closing costs or toward the purchase price of your home for those items. And my last final thoughts are just make sure and work with your agent on your repairs because um, they may be able to guide you in some directions on that. They may have a feel, and I'm not always saying that we know everything, but we do have some experience in this area. And I always think that I could kind of guide people on some costs for some things, whether it's a big expense or a small expense. So just make sure and work with your agent. Um, they can kind of help you do, go through this process, which is a little confusing sometimes. So, but my name is Sherry Methvin and I'm with agent with Century 21 Goodyear Green. And uh, if I can help you out, my name and number are listed here. And I hope to hear from you soon. And I look forward to our next video.